Hi. Hi. Welcome to Backroom Basics. We are here in the, at the white wall in the back room of our salon, Do or Die Salon in San Jose, California. Mm -hmm. And we are here for you. This video is um, overdue. Overdue. Thank you very much. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Just trying to totally think of a diplomatic fault. way nope. to say it. We haven't done a video in a really long time. My fault. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's been very busy. I had a busy summer. Kira was in two weddings. Two. I just got back from Hawaii. Yeah. I one. The glow. One is. One was very far away. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why it we're was here. impossible to schedule. And Aaron's been very busy too. It's not just me. I haven't been jet setting, but I have uh, been busy. It's been, we are been really proud busy. to say, proud to say, this has been our busiest summer that any of us, the three of us, Yeah. that would be Kira, myself, and the ghost that you know is <laughs> The magical unicorn yes. that is Leslie, Leslie Mullen. Leslie, since she will never appear on camera, hint, hint. Um, that's the busiest summer that we've had here at the salon, so we're all yeah. really excited about that. So thank you for thank helping you. our business grow, because it's a really, really big deal to us. Yeah, it's amazing. Thank you. So here we are, and today we are discussing seasonal hair color. <laughs> uh, we're, I'm just starting to dabble in. The weather is finally changing. Yep. So I got my first client yesterday that's like, I'm ready. Yep. So for those of you that like to be darker in the winter and lighter in the summer, this video is for you. Mm -hmm. This video is about what it takes for us to get you there mm -hmm. safely. Safely being the key word, <laughs> and successfully. So you still have hair next year. Yes, let's talk about a chemical cut. Oh my God. Or hair that looks like the inside of a corn husk. <laughs> I've seen it. I've had it. Brutal. It's awful. Yeah. Our aim is the integrity of your hair that is first and foremost to us. So no mm -hmm. offense, but if you want, I want blonde, I want blonde, and I cannot get you there, I don't care what you want. I care about what's going to melt your hair off and what's Smashed not. Smashed dream. <laughs> <laughs> Hope smasher, dream crusher. Oh, my God. I love it. It's yep. true, though. It's true. We have to be realistic. So, And we do get to ask these questions in, you know, I think we're at a point, especially with our regulars, you know, with clientele that come in that we know, you know, who is more inclined to the seasonal um, hair color. And so we definitely keep that in mind when we're formulating, you know, these um, like transitions from um, summer to fall to winter to spring. So um, it's already in the back of our minds, but and that's why we ask so many goddamn questions. <laughs> Sorry, guys. It's for your own good. It's true. It's true. And that's why um, we will not take you black. Don't do if it. you're going to go to blonde in the spring, we're not, I'm not going to do it. Uh -uh. All, anything under a four. No. Not gonna happen. <laughs> Sorry. Mm -hmm. yep. So right now, it is summerish. We're getting to the end of summer, so right now your hair is probably blonde if you're a seasonal. Mm -hmm. Does not necessarily mean that it's platinum, but it is probably in its lighter phases. Mm -hmm. And now you want to go and move into darker. Mm -hmm. What is the safest way to do that? Uh, my favorite way is actually to add coppers in, um, like the nice rich coppers. That's what I think of when I think of fall. Mm -hmm. um, some people think of mahoganies, more of those like richer red tones. Um, a highlight is a really great way of doing that. And that so would that be way, my recommendation as well. Highlight. Um, with blonde, starting to add in, you know, those richer golds, um, because that kind of like drops it down a little bit, gives it dimension, um, and is easy to fade out and take out, you know, in six months when California summer starts in fucking April. Yeah. So. Yeah. 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 So highlight is the best way that that's what we prefer. We prefer to add it in panel by panel mm -hmm. versus going just whole hog, whole head dark brown is that is not it's a pretty harsh transition it's mm -hmm. um also not easy to take out come summer mm -hmm. so if you leave some of those blonde pieces in then that's less that we have to take out later right so the coppers the reds and mahoganies it like Kira said it drops it down but it doesn't totally take out all of the blonde that you're going to want us to restore in seven months right restoring the blonde is <laughs> How, how, how can I diplomatically put this? It's so scary. hard on your hair. It's so scary. <laughs> I get, I get heart, heart, heart palpitations. It, it does. It gives you. It gives you like <sighs> like you start to like feel the sweat on your forehead when you think about rebleaching hair that you know is bleached underneath. Right. 
the color that you have deposited for fall. So depositing color for fall is not that hard on your hair. No, you're only easy. depositing. It's very easy yeah. on the hair. When you're going into the cuticle and you're eating away that color that you've deposited in order to get you back to blonde, that is very difficult because the chemistry of the inside of each hair shaft, does that sound right? Mm -hmm. Has been changed multiple times now. So if you go in and you bleach that, it's another chemical change. Mm -hmm. The hair is fragile and it can be it can be tricky. So yeah. when we go in and highlight again in the spring, I personally am going to be even more <laughs> like sparse and stingy when it comes yeah. to how many panels I'm going to give you that first time. Yeah. Because if I start to see like smoke and stuff, then we're going to know that's bad. So I'd rather have less blonde in there the first time around when we transition you back. Right. Just until I know that it's not going to end up just absolutely melting your hair off. Of right. Yeah. <laughs> That's when seven volume is our best friend. And we're like, we're just going to slightly mm -hmm. we're just gonna fluff it up off. a little. Yeah. 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 Because there's, there's precautions that we get to take on our end, you know, to safeguard. But it's, it's still science, you know. And if there's, you know, your porosity is a little bit different than the next person's, you know, that all factors in. And, you know, even with the best intentions and everything by the book, things still happen. Mm -hmm. So bleach has come a long way with all the additives and the bond fixers and everything. Um, but there's still... No guarantee. There's no guarantee. No. So you can also see below to our other videos. Mm-hmm. About Olaplex. We like Olaplex a lot, but yeah. it's, 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 not, it's not perfect. Yeah. And there's only so much it's going to do. Yeah. It's a really nice buffer but you can't use it over and over and over and over again and expect that hair to be pristine because right. it will break off. Hair will break off if it's over bleached. I don't care what you put in it. Everything has a breaking point. That's right. Mentally, emotionally. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone has a breaking point. Even your It's true. Hair. It's true. So if you go into your uh, hairstylist in the next couple months and you say, I want to transition, do not be surprised if they want to do it the safe route. Right. And if you say, I want all of this and you bring in a picture of this like gorgeous dark plum color, and you're anywhere close to blonde, unless you're like super certain and it's something you've been talking to your stylist about for a while, mm -hmm. they hopefully won't take you all the way if they know for sure that you are going to want to transition back in the summer. Right. Right. Or you're going through a breakup. Don't do it. That's right. If you're getting sleep divorced, on it. Just sleep on it. breakup, just got fired, you know, maybe think about a couple more maybe weeks. Maybe you'll do that? Yes. I don't know. I'm never... I, ha I've have had the, I have had one of the fired. And we, you and I have had more than one of the breakups. Oh, God. You know, just hold off. Yeah, sleep on it. Yeah, well, yeah. And we have no qualms telling you no. That's true. Hope smashers. Yep. <laughs> For your own good. It's because we love you. Yep. And your hair. And your hair. We want it to look its best. That's right. Long and luscious next summer. Yeah, no kidding. Especially because most of the people that we're talking to, and you know who you are, you all want your hair super long, too. It's not like your Kira over here who can transition whenever she wants because her hair's so short. Cut that shit up. Yeah, and whether, you know, it breaks off or not in her mind is no big deal, even though it's a huge deal in my mind. Just a free haircut. But she'll shave it, and she doesn't care. So that's the, I mean, she's had everything. But if you like your long locks, transitional color is, is a or, business. Yeah, if you're growing out for a wedding. Then mm -hmm. there's a little bit more pressure. Mm -hmm. There's a little bit more at stake. So, yep. yep. Um, and it is time to start thinking. Even you know, in if your wedding is next summer, you know, it's starting to like formulate. You mm -hmm. know, what is that going to look like? What are we going to play with in the meantime? Yes. Um, how long does your hair need to be? What's your hairstyle going to be? You know, that all starts now. Mm -hmm. Even though it feels like it's you know eons away, it really isn't. That's it's true. Time flies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want your hair to be in the best shape possible for your wedding. Yeah. So if it means sacrificing for eight months or a year, all the different colors that you want, it's worth it. Yeah. Trust me. Yep. I'm worth it. <laughs> Coming from the girl that has pink hair. And it's short. My hair is long. It, and so I, it can't, I don't even I, know how long it is right now. Where I can tell you <laughs> that that's what you long haired people want. Oh my God. Anything else? I think that's it. Sorry again for being so delayed and we won't wait that long. And thank you so much for tuning in today here on Backroom Basics. Stay tuned for another scintillating installment of As the Curl Turns.
Creeper. It's just I take up like half of it. And then... I, yeah, you take up half and I take up the other half. <laughs> My shoulders are so much broader than yours. We could just do it like that. <laughs> like halvesies. <laughs> That'd be fun. You know, I do, I really did like that makeup challenge. Like that was fun when we did it. Oh yeah, on. yeah. It was fun. Yeah. That would be the no mirror makeup challenge that can be found on our channel. Below. <laughs> down below. Scroll down. <laughs>